Sunday's presence in Europe is now so extensive that you'd be forgiven for thinking that the family-sized i30 hatchback has slipped somewhat in importance, trumped by cooler products, the Ionic, or else more profitable ones, the Santa Fe. Not a bit of it, though. The first i30, launched in 2007, effectively set Hyundai on its current trajectory on the back of a Eurocentric development program. Differentiating your five-door family hatchback in possibly the continent's most congested marketplace has become crucial, and despite drafting in the indisputable talents of Peter Schreier as overseer, Hyundai hasn't necessarily triumphed in the subjective eye candy test. Quips about mistakenly being on the Peugeot 308 or Fiat Tipo launch felt a little too on the money in Malaga. Inside, the i30 is heavily altered, but remains a familiar Hyundai jumble nonetheless. From mid-spec SE nav onwards there's a centrally mounted 8.0 in touchscreen, but Hyundai has put too little functionality onto it, meaning there's still a Millennium Falcon's worth of blue-tinted switch gear floating about on the dash. However, buttons for both heated and cooling seats on the center console offer a reminder of just how lavish the i30's toy list is among the costlier trim levels. The space on offer is adequate, the driving position and ergonomics good. Fixture and fitting build quality remain sturdy. In the lighter, stiffer body and the revised chassis it graduates to downright solid. Gains made in construction and damper budget pay off here admirably, the i30 is exceptionally quiet and as nullifying as a mattress topper. If there is a tangible benefit to the Korean preoccupation with benchmarking, it is located here in high production values of a suspension setup devoid of sharp edges or the clatter and clunk of moving metal parts. The new Pedderal engine is a willing participant in its serenity. Don't expect to hear any more than a background flutter at idle or a distant hum when cruising. Its purported spiritedness from 0 to 62 miles per hour is somewhat overblown, sub 9 seconds it may very well do, but you'll have to work it dramatically beyond its comfort zone to replicate the claim. Realistically, the new motor wants to be gently amenable, humbly supplying 178 pounds foot of torque from 1,500 revolutions per minute, and encouraging you to change up long before 138 bhp appears at a breathless 6,000 revolutions per minute.